So we've launched uh, recently statewide a farm worker initiative underneath the Listos California campaign, which is truly designed to target the most vulnerable residents in our state. So living in our state, we have seen many disasters over the years and they affect all of us. So that's why it's important for everybody to learn about disaster preparedness, to have resources and access to that information and those resources in many different ways that they can learn how they can be prepared. This event is um, to do outreach for the farm workers, to let them know how appreciated they are because we do, um, we are thankful that they do all this hard work. We want to let them know about all the emergency preparedness that they need to know, as well as COVID-19 tips so that they're prepared and stay safe. What has come to light during COVID-19 is really that nobody works as hard as farm workers under some of the harshest conditions. And not only did we have COVID-19, a big part of what we're doing is launching the Least Dose Farm Worker Guide. And that guide is full of all kinds of materials and information and helpful hints about not just COVID-19, but about being ready for a disaster or an emergency in general. It's critically important that we help support our essential farm worker community. Uh, these are folks that are geographically isolated, they're linguistically isolated, they have lack of access to a wraparound of support and services and healthcare. I'm really happy and excited to see is about 30 different agencies from our local and about nine different agencies from the state are providing exhibits that are providing interactive booths, not just passing out paper and giving out resource information in language, but they're actually giving them tips, tools, and different resources that they can use like masks, sanitizers, bandanas. This event, honestly, it's very close to me because I have family that are farm workers. It hits home. I remember one of the early conversations I had with my grandmother as a young kid, my abuela. Um, she sat me down and she said, Mijo, you are um, white presenting, you are male, you're gonna be in the spaces and places that our people have never been, have never had access to. You have to fight for our people. We encourage everyone to take time today to find those resources that can help you and your family be prepared for the next disaster. Disaster response and disaster preparedness is a whole community effort, especially in our state where we experience a lot of disasters all year round. Because of COVID and because of the limitations of being in person, you know, a lot of in-person support systems have gone away. And we know that hard to reach communities require in-person events with people that they trust and people that they know. It's just really awesome to come together as a community, see people who've been in the community working for decades here after months and months and months of COVID to be in person together doing this work. This event was one of the most inspiring, effective events that we've had and that I've seen in a long time.